Okay, so I, I got it to work finally. I got Trellis to work with the trading. So I got it to work with real money, but not with the, uh, the fake money account. So let me zoom in here. Um, what I did is I had to, I had deleted the Alpaca Connect. Um, there's an Alpaca Connect section on the Alpaca website and there's connected apps. I previously created a Trellis account and I had deleted this here. If you click here, I deleted it. And then I couldn't find any way to add it back on either this Alpaca website or the Trellis website. So I signed up for a new Trellis account and then I, I basically got it working. So when you when you sign up with a new Trellis account, when you when you create your email and you log in, it actually links it link you can link up to your it'll link it up to your Alpaca account and then you get this Trellis thing here in, in Alpaca and then it's linked. So then what happened is uh, I created basically the same thing. This is the uh, this is the SoFi bot for the um, let's see where is it buy trigger it's basically if the RSI of SoFi crosses below 40 which which is it's been below 40 for a while now that's the way I said it I originally had it if the price was below uh, $5 which it is it's been all day but that was kind of weird it wasn't working so I, I didn't know if that was uh, a problem that I had so I I created it this way and then I had I put buy a custom number of shares and then you hit deploy bot and then um, I didn't set up triggers for e either one of these so I didn't like get an email or anything I got an email from Alpaca once it executed but um, with the real money one you go to buy triggers it's basically um, this one I did if the simple moving average 200 days of SoFi is below 40 and then that uh, executed hold on is that right I think that's how I said it yeah that that's I, I think I made a mistake there but it executed anyways um, that would execute at almost any level anyway so that I put in uh, this this was a real money account and I put in five dollars because I I don't have I don't really trust these things yet and I, I only had like hundred fifty dollars in a night I used it with composer so I had like ten dollars in there so I, I just put in five dollars and I put in one share and this thing will just keep running over and over so after it executed the first time I paused it because I don't want to use up the other the other five dollars <laughs> anyways here's the account here's the uh, you can go to the live trading account and you'll see um, you'll see here that I have so Sophie executed it executed here let's see executed at uh, four dollars and eighty four cents one share and I don't believe they can do fractional shares like composer and I how much did I, I lost a little bit of money on that so far okay so let's look at the order now we go to orders you can see the order so closed order you can actually see right here this was a market order so um, I would think that it would be a limit order but anyways that's how it went through that's another thing about composer is they uh, they do market orders so at 1230 it sets it goes through the criteria if it meets the criteria basically at 1230 Pacific Standard Time it places the market orders and so you know things could go up or up or down at that point so anyways uh, it got this working and I did find out uh, trellis is kind of um, I like it but it's very cryptic it's like there's not a whole lot of details as far as how you how you use this as far as tutorials so um, there's basically uh, there's like a couple options that I, I saw that you could do so when I they'll send you if you go to this here 
and you go to um, buy triggers or um, integrations then you can connect it to your email like right now you you'll see it says uh, connected to alpaca um, you'll see um, in integration and it doesn't show it for the paper account so I think the alpaca paper accounts not quite as connected as uh, if you've got a regular account so that that's I think why I had to use the regular money account on composer because you know I couldn't connect the, the paper account for whatever reason so um, that's why I've been using real money but um, anyways you're connected here with alpaca so you don't want to disconnect that that's I don't know if that's if you delete the the thing from alpaca that probably disconnects this here or breaks the connection but you also have an email and SMS and so you can you can set it up when I when I added the the buy trigger it said do you want to um, do you want it automatic or do you want to respond back like when you uh, when the order goes through so you basically need acknowledgement like say okay this order and so um, I you you get notifications um, even if it's not connected properly and you set up email or SMS you get notifications and what happens then is you'll get a an SMS or an email and it'll say the you know the well, let's see what it says here um, bot like it'll say like SoFi bot alert B uh, decision to buy zero shares at 494 um, estimated zero dollars and zero cents you could actually reply back you have to reply back in a certain way and then you can give it permission so you actually uh, you actually have uh, it, it'll say I put buy because I, I don't know what what the I don't have the the details on how you're supposed to do this and I haven't read through all parts of the API for alpaca so I typed in buy and then it responded back buy is improperly formatted it must be formatted as confirm bot buy or sell confirm so I put confirm Sophie buy that's the name of the bot and then it says this bot does not have real money trading enabled so I, I think you you can really only do this on using a real money account also but with the real money account you can do the acknowledgement where you have to acknowledge each time or where it's automatic so the downside of automatic if you get lazy like me and you've got it where you turn it off I mean where you just leave it run and you've got let's say uh, 50,000 in the account and it just keeps buying 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 you know one share after another each time or if you don't have that checkbox right it'll actually buy as many shares as it can so if you've got like 50,000 in an account it'll try to wipe out all that 50,000 and buy buy shares so that's why I, I don't keep hardly any money in the account because first of all these things can get hacked and uh, if they get hacked and the or the programming's wrong and it sends the wrong details to alpaca it could send a sell order or this or that you know even if you I've got I think shorting disabled and margin disabled but it could why it could sell all of your shares it could buy the wrong things it could buy it at the wrong price so I'm I just put my you know I go one step at a time take it easy just play around with it if you want to if you want to learn a little bit but don't use too much money unless you've got a lot of money to burn so that's my uh, my tip but you can see uh, there's a chart here um, yeah so it's it's kinda neat so I'm gonna have I'm gonna probably play around with this in the future a little bit and I'm gonna have to learn maybe a little bit of the alpaca API I know there's a lot of stuff you can do with alpaca I think you can you can buy buy or sell stocks over email or you can actually set up a spreadsheet with the buy button. There's a lot of stuff you can do. It's kind of neat. You can buy over a Python script or a command uh, terminal. So there's a lot of functionality that you don't get with the normal bro uh, brokerage account. And so uh, it's kind of a new a new area that's 
you know, maybe this stuff was available to hedge funds, but to regular people that don't have a whole lot of money, this is a nice, nice little thing to play around with. So, anyways, that's my uh, my video for today. So you could try out this. Uh, this is called Trellis Trellis Trade. It's called. Uh, we actually don't even see the logo on here. It's um, Trellis Trade. Co, and you need an alpaca ac account. That's alpaca with the uh, like the animal a l a l p a c a dot markets and uh, you can sign up and play with them and then I also did another video on composer so you may want to check out that because I think composer is a little bit easier to use than trellis and it's a little bit more straightforward so I would try both of them as far as the easiest to use and not being locked down the only ones I know of that work are trellis and uh, composer there's some other ones like arcade trader but they're pretty locked down and I've had some issues with that one so um, anyways that's my video for today have a good one uh, give me a thumbs up like subscribe whatever bye